welcome to this demonstration on Oracle Policy Automation. In this demonstration, we will cover the new feature, Interview Attachments, available in the August 2015 release. For this demonstration, imagine you and your family were about to board a flight when you were told your flight had been canceled. You want to know whether you're eligible for compensation and submit a claim for that compensation if you are. In this case, we begin submitting information through the Travel Compensation Calculator, including selecting our itinerary information and selecting that my flight was canceled as the reason for seeking compensation on this flight. We were, in this case, we were not offered rerouting and the notice of cancellation was just given to us. We see that we're likely to an entitlement in compensation for this flight due to the cancellation according to the EU regulations and by expanding how that decision was reached, we can see some of the policies that are brought to bear in reaching that conclusion. In this case, we decide to proceed to the claim and begin to enter information, including the name, email address, and phone number of the contact. We also need to attach proof of a ticket or boarding pass. So in this case, we select the boarding pass for John Citizen. We were also traveling with other passengers. So we enter the additional passengers information, including attaching proof of a ticket purchase for each of those passengers as well. Now let's have a look at where those records ended up. We launch the CX console and search for the contact John Citizen. Double clicking on that contact ID in the search results opens his record where we can show the attachments tab and see the boarding pass for John Citizen. If we click on the other passengers details tab, we can double click on one of those passenger IDs and see that their boarding pass has also been saved as an attachment to their information. So how did we do this? By switching to Oracle Policy Modeling, showing the travel compensation project we can see a modified version of that example and we open the data tab and see the mapping settings. The Oracle Policy Automation Hub is linked to our Service Cloud instance. If we scroll down to see the mapped fields, we can see that certain information from the CX console is mapped to attributes within the Oracle Policy Modeling project. including the passenger's phone number being mapped out to the home phone field. In this demonstration, the main customer data is mapped to the contact field in Service Cloud. We have also added an entity to collect details for other passengers, and these attributes have been mapped to a custom object in Service Cloud with Allow Attachments enabled. If we switch to the Interview tab in Oracle Policy Modeling, in particular, we take a closer look at the proof screen on which we added an upload control to collect the information about the contact and the other passengers, which allowed uploads to be attached to those objects. That's it. The seamless data integration between OPA and Service Cloud allows the data and uploaded attachments to be saved without any further configurations or programming required. For more information, see the online help or any of the other available resources, including the forums on Oracle Policy Modeling and Oracle Policy Automation. Thank you.